workfolding.net tutorial on measuring and marking and the tools you'll need. Simple ruler, 99 cents at a big box item store, and a pencil, preferably with an eraser too, in case any mistakes. And of course the book. Hardback, eh, at least 7 inches tall, preferably, as the image is small, and over 300 pages. Now first what we want to do when we're measuring and marking just check out the condition of the book, make sure it's ready to go. Now what I'm doing here, after we've gotten our measurements, is I'm making sure that there are a few extra pages in the front here. It's kind of a cushion as the guide you're going to get for folding is going to have you fold some pages is kind of a, a barrier between the covers on each side, kind of to balance out the image. You'll see more what I'm talking about, but just, just trust me here. Pick a book that's got enough, you can still get 300 plus pages with about 10 or so on each side. So 320 or more. I like to balance it out here. Pick some extra ones. So when I put the numbers into my program, the program you're going to use of our software, you want to put even number page. So like this, see? I picked about page 12 to start at. I had a balance here. And this book, I believe, was about 600 pages. And I ended at like 480. So two even numbers. Now, what I want to show you here. Oh, sorry. You need a pencil and a ruler. And your book. We're going to do our first mark. So the program or software that we've got, if you're using our software or if you bought one of our patterns, it's going to tell you the starting page to start on. So it's telling us to start on page 18. It's always an even number. Remember, when you're looking at the book, it's going to have the odd number on the back of the page, but you're really starting. So it'll say 17 on the back, but that's page 18 since it's front and back. And we're going to end at about 480. So it'll say 479 on the page. Now with our page open, we've set our measurements to inches, but again, you can set your measurements or select when you're buying a pattern from us in centimeters or inches. So with this one, I'm going to go with inches. You can also go with centimeters as well. Whether you're using our software or purchasing a pattern, it'll come in one of the two measurements. Now what I like to do is line the ruler up with the text to make sure I get a nice smooth mark. And I like to do it as close to the edge of the page as possible so that the, the marks aren't as visible when we complete our folds. Now, with our simple patterns, or if you're using our software, you only need to make two marks. The first measurement will tell you. This one says 1.5. So what we'll do is we'll go to about 1.5. And then our second mark is at about 6.8. So I measured a 6.8. And I mark. Two marks, that's it. 1.5, 6.8. The pattern you get from us will have those two measurements. Or if you use our software, you'll see that in there as well. It'll have measurement for every single page. You do have to mark each page twice with two measurements throughout the whole pattern to get the completed folded book art. So I've marked these two, and it'll go so on and so forth until we get to the end of the pattern that we've either purchased or we've created by using our software. Put on some music, kick back, and enjoy marketing.